both Moblin and Migo are open source Linux projects, so they yeah, have yeah. contributors, but they sort of have a lot of corporate sponsorship. You know, who's doing the most work of it and who's pushing that particular distribution? Mm -hmm. So Moblin was sort of an Intel, uh, Intel product, you know, Intel project from that perspective for a corporate sponsorship of a particular Linux stack. Mm -hmm. um, Nokia had MIMO, which was another yeah, open source yeah. stack, right? So MIGO is a merge of MIMO and Moblin. Mm -hmm. So Nokia is not going to push MIMO forward, and we're not going. And Intel is not going to push Moblin forward. We're going to jointly push MIGO together. Mm -hmm. a joint project between, so it merges those two. What what what's the benefit of the Intel? The benefit. Yeah. The benefit is really. So I think what we would all like to see is a lot less fragmentation in the Linux ecosystem, right? Yeah. Um, to, to enable the largest pool of developers possible, you want to make sure that your application can run across you know, a wider variety of devices and, and to, you know, consumer devices. No, but, so, but, but that is the same as uh, Moblin. No, it's not the same as Moblin. We have we've implemented uh, so borrowing the best from MIMO, uh, the, the user interface layers uh -huh. uh, for application UI frameworks uh -huh. are now written in Qt. Uh -huh. And Qt actually has a really nice, robust set of development tools, again, to enable developers to quickly uh, and rapidly get their applications developed uh -huh. for the platform. Uh -huh. That's really you know, leveraging the best of both. Uh, you know, Moblin had a lot of fast boot technologies, uh -huh. a lot of integrated social networking stuff. So that, you know, that's some of the best pieces of Moblin. And some of the, the user interface tool development environments and things like that out of MIMO. Uh, and some, you know, just, I mean, I'd have to go through an architecture slide component by component to talk about which ones came in from which project. Mm -hmm. but really, Migo is really about joining the best of those two projects together. Uh -huh. okay. well, uh, it, um, Comment, it's a, I mean, it's a, I mean APIs, you don't have an API, you have a set of APIs. What we wanted to do in Migo was create a, a really rich API set uh -huh. that's consistent across all the different segments. So I don't know if you did whatever talks you've listened to, but it's, it's not one API, it's one set of APIs that you can develop an application for Netflix, for instance, and be able to, without modifying the core code, just some UI code to readapt that application, not based on how the operating system runs or anything, but just simply on the fact that now you're on a touch device on a different size screen, or you might want to re-optimize your UI. Kind of like between an iPhone and an iPad, right? Same application, different UI on, in, on front of it. Um, so, and, and Apple's able to do that because they have a vertical market segment, right? So here, both Nokia and Intel, you know, and the open source community that's developing around Migo, what we want to do is be able to make sure that we maintain a consistent framework, a consistent set of APIs that enables an application to more easily run across multiple device segments. And that's what we call the continuum. <laughs>